You, you also worked in Delhi with the Finance Commission and uh, this thing. What do you think is going to be the effect of this uh, Seventh Finance Commission, the center, on uh, on the states? Break their back like every commission does. No, why? why? I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, uh, how do you look at the, like, in terms of the economic cycle, like, uh, like, like the timing? When do you think the states will be in a position to implement it? Look, I think the, uh, what has changed in the federal finance in the last 10-15 years is the 14th Commission, which has done very well in terms of not so much that the revenue share has gone up, but at least as a finance minister, I am aware of what is due to me. There is a stability in it. I don't have to go begging to uh, Planning Commission in TIO for my planned finance. I know exactly what my money is, so I am certain about it. A large part of public finance policy is driven by how certain I am about my revenues. So I think it has changed the game. Number two, by accepting that in his previous budget, which I called the first union federal budget in India, uh, you have transferred a lot of resources. And depending on now how the revenue buoyancy of the center is, you will actually see a greater flow of funds to uh, the states. Um, another good decision which has come is transferring the liabilities of DISCOMs onto the budget. So once we are able to streamline these four or five things uh, and there's buoyancy and if GST actually gets implemented in the course of let's say year and a half, you will see an added buoyancy to revenues. Um, it should not be so difficult to implement the award in uh, a year or two years. We will have fiscal surpluses in that. I'm not talking about GNK, I'm talking about all states.